Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and today I'm finally back with some good news. Pangu has jailbroken iOS 10.3.1 on stage. And I'll also be talking about 10.3.2, what that means for 32-bit users, as Apple seems to have went back on their decision. Also, what version of iOS you should be on if you are waiting on that jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1. So as you guys know, iOS 10.3 was released by Apple that introduced the Apple file system as well as patched several bugs that were in 10.2 and fixed the 10.2 jailbreak. We already know that. They've already released 10.3.1 to fix some bugs with 10.3, making iOS 10.3.1 the newest firmware. You guys remember iOS 10.3.2? Well, that is back as well. They've released the fourth beta of 10.3.2, and this doesn't look too bright for the jailbreak community, but let me discuss the good news first. So at a security conference called Janus, this reminds me of the Mosex security conference from last year, where Pangu demoed a iOS 10 jailbreak, and as we know today, we have a jailbreak for iOS 10, even though it wasn't from them. Anyways, Janus is a mobile security and threat intelligence platform release something over there. I couldn't read that part of that person's head in the way. So at this conference, they demoed on stage, I'm gonna throw this up on the screen now. They demoed on stage an iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak running with an app that kind of looks like the iOS 9 version that we saw on 9.3.3, running on an iPhone 7. Now, besides the fact that this is, number one, a jailbreak demo, number two, this is very exciting for iPhone 7 owners, because remember, with the Yalu jailbreak, they're stuck on iOS 10.1.1. So perhaps this was the reason why Pangu did not release a jailbreak for 10.2, but instead they've been saving their exploits for 10.3.1. Hold your horses, don't get too excited, because iOS 10.3.2 is on the horizon. Apple has released the fourth beta as of recording this video, and this, undoubtedly, will have patched the bugs found in 10.3.1 by Pangu. If Pangu decided to release the jailbreak before the final version of 10.3.2 was released. So hopefully, Pangu would drop the jailbreak either before Apple patches it with 10.3.2, or after Apple releases 10.3.2 and they find that the exploits work for this and the other versions of 10.3 as well. Best case scenario. Now, where should you be if you want to jailbreak iOS 10.3? Well, first of all, um, this is a very hard thing to tell you guys, to recommend to you guys, because for those of you who are running an iOS 10.2 jailbreak, you probably don't want to give that up. And I understand. It's pretty stable. You got your tweaks going. You don't want to start over. Same if you are on iOS 9. Keep in mind that 10.3.1 is still a relatively new firmware, and they will continue to sign that firmware. And with 10.3.2 on the horizon, we know that 10.3.1 will eventually be dropped, but even after this comes out, we will have at least a week to two weeks to update to 10.3.1 if the jailbreak is exclusively for 10.3.1. And of course, I will keep you guys updated on everything that is going on. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to do so. If you are currently jailbroken on 10.2, stay there. 10.1.1, stay there to iOS 10.3. Uh, it's always safer to stay where you are than it is to upgrade prematurely because Pangu showing this jailbreak on stage doesn't necessarily mean they are going to release it anytime soon because if they burn through these precious exploits every couple of months with a software update these exploits are going out the window and Pangu is running out of options if they just keep pouring these jailbreaks out Apple will keep patching them with software updates. It is really, truly a miracle that we have a jailbreak today on iOS 10, even with the Yangu app, with, even with its seven day limitations, we still have a jailbreak. Now for a lot of you guys who have iPhone 5s, you might be asking yourself, will iOS 10.3.2 kill 32-bit devices? Now remember when Beta 1 came out, I told you guys that 32-bit devices weren't supported. Well, they weren't really until Beta 4 came out or at least the later betas came out and they had support again for the iPhone 5, the 5C, and the iPad 4. So we probably won't see an end to 32-bit devices until iOS 11. So we'll see that in June, very soon. We'll see what they do with iOS 11. And in case you're wondering, no, the next jailbreak is probably not going to support the iPhone 5. 
I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's probably what's going to happen if you are wondering this. So right now, if you are beta testing iOS 10.3.2 downgrade back right now, I will have a guide up here how to do that. It is a bit of an older video, but it still works for betas. Go back to 10.3.1 while you still can. And for everybody else, just stay where you are. That is the safest bet. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to have a jailbreak on the latest 10.3 Apple file system version of iOS. Everything's going to be faster, your phone's going to be able to hold more stuff, and you have a jailbreak. That is a killer combo. Of course, I'm crossing my fingers, and you guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. And by the way guys, I apologize for the lack of videos simply because I was sick for a very long time. I got something that you do not want. But I'm getting over it, getting better, so I got more videos coming your way. So be sure you stay tuned. Anyways, I'm gonna go now.